on, Martin. I get all the good jobs, me. Get you back in it. Back is, isn't it? I don't like them the way this has been shared out. <laughs> all the donkey work seems to be mine. You love it. Uh. 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 Hey, Barry. During the summer? Yeah, very nice. <laughs> Put another one on, she said. <laughs> I think I need to stop and help you. Yeah, you Just a minute. Me. Here he comes. <laughs> and he's here. <laughs> Made it. <laughs> well we've cleared that area again <clears throat> phone's got the coffee on <laughs> so give us this uh, bit of a clear area see if we can lay out this floor in and have a look at, and have a look at it see what uh, see how the land lies eh yeah or the floor lies yeah so well, let's have a go see how it looks okay so there's a pack of our flooring uh, yes, so you can see some of this wood hasn't been oiled yet because I made some changes here that you saw last time. Uh, so this is one pack. It's a it's a 12 mil thick laminate, and it's also good for kitchens and bathrooms, which not all of them are. So be careful on that one. So we are actually going to put this floor in all the way, all the way through, front to back. Now we've just we're just looking at it. Uh, let me turn you around. Right there, we're just looking at it, and I need this this channel here to run our central heating pipes down and our, our water pipe. Yes, I know that in the winter time there'll be some cross transfer of heat to our cold water pipe. Don't think that's going to affect us too much. It's not going to happen in the summer, uh, and I shall lag that cold water pipe anyway. So the transfer hopefully will be minimum. So down this section here will be a four inch square box section all the way down, right the length of the boat. So down this section will be our, like I say, a four inch square box section that will run the whole length of the boat that will hold water pipes and central heating pipes. Uh, the center line, we're sort of gauging, so it's in the center line of the door and the step. So you're always right when you look in. Uh, it just leaves this little part here. Now, I, we didn't want to put um, a box section skirting down here. There will be a skirting board runner that runs down there, but not a square box section because there's nothing that needs to run down that way. So we've got to cut a piece in there. Again, it, it's the only thing we can do. Yes, there's a lot of waste there, especially with because these panels are, are so big. But it is the only way to do it. And we were just talking about it. Uh, if we if we if we do a box section in thermo wood. This stuff is 20 quid a length anyway, so we're not we're not saving anything by, and it's more work, yeah. isn't it? It's more work, so so we're going to cut a piece to go in there, so we have no channel running and down. We don't want to lose the size of the room, do we? That was another room, not the way the chairs and the feet come out quite wide, don't yeah, they? Yeah, yeah. So if we was to box that in as well, we'd lose our, our chairs sit up against there quite quite easily, and if we had that skirt in there. It'd it, it would push the chairs out a little yeah. bit further, wouldn't it? So, so going space we're gonna piece, well. we're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna cut a piece to go in there. No big deal, easy to do. But that's our flooring. Uh, hopefully, you guys like it. We we do. We we quite like a parquet kind of finish. But this is like I say, this is designed for heavy traffic usage. Brilliant, and it's good for kitchens and bathrooms as well. And it's a light oak, which hopefully our uh, windows. Like the frame trims, whatever we call them. In, yeah, liners. The liners are going to yeah. be oak, and all our trims are going to be oak. All our trim, our trim will be a light oak as well. Yeah. So the only dark, dark wood really is our the is our is our thermo wood, but we wanted we wanted to lighten that up. So I think when all that's down hang and on, they're very. Okay, these lines I really want because of the design. They don't, 
they clip in both ways. Uh, I just want to make sure that these these are exactly in the right place. So by putting my weight on there, that one's okay. And just giving that one a tap, it just moves it up. It's funny, I'm only talking about half a mil. But uh, I say I want to make sure that those are right. Clever. <laughs> <laughs> I'm here all week. <laughs> That's just to get the shape in there. <laughs> Let's just get that shape and that about a 10 mil gap there in there for expansion. leave that piece in there and that that just helps fix the floor in place a little bit yeah so we'll put cork in there or rope or something like that cork probably and then the skirt in a piece of this will go this will come out and then the skirt in then we'll overlap the gap yeah yeah very good. So there's the first few pieces in. <clears throat> Looking good. Yeah, it looks alright. Of course, we've got so much work left to do all over the place. We're going to have to try and protect this, aren't we? Yeah. It's bringing stuff in, and every stuff in. Yeah, we was going to fetch the fridge today, weren't we? But mm. the van was too heavy with all this stuff in it, so... Yeah, dragging a fridge and stuff over it wouldn't be very good. Okay, I've just knocked up that frame. If you remember before, this uh, the, the plinth was stacked up on bricks. So my idea is, I've got, I've got much more work to do in this area. But my, my idea is, if I can get the hose at the right temperature, is to go out of the water jacket into this cavity here because there's plenty of room in here top and bottom so a, a loop of hose out and put my connections here for my central heating or for our central heating i should say so that will then there'll be no there'll be no joins then hidden water pipe joins elbows and things anywhere so that's the plan so that's what that that's what that channel is behind there and I've got to pick this up again. <coughs> oh, which is always <coughs> a great deal of fun. <sighs> so when that's done, there'll be a, uh, a sort of a a wooden skirting kind of thing across across the front that, that hides all that so that's the idea I will put some strength in the pieces in and I have got to drill this and put more blocks underneath so I can screw the screw the stove down 
Uh, I don't really need to mess about it any more than that, really. You're not going to see it anyway, are you? It, it, no, it's not that. It's just making sure it's strong enough and I don't have to do it once. Otherwise, I might have to stick it back out again. So yeah. I, I don't want to do yeah. that. So that's... Yes. You can see that channel now. So the hose is... If I just squeeze past that... I'll put this way back. Oh! Put you back. Yeah, it looks alright, doesn't it? Well, it will do. It'll have like a, again, probably thermo wood. Just a normal. Uh, where am I? It's a scrap piece, like thermo wood. Uh, trim. Trim. That's yeah. yeah, round there as well. Yeah. And like I say, I've got to drill into here. So what I should probably do is put some cross members in there, fairly hefty ones. Drill through the marble and then that will allow me to put wood screws straight in yeah uh this this is a drip tray so that doesn't get hot anyway so well not not hot, hot anyway so there's the idea i just wanted to put that back before we continued on with the floor uh mainly because uh it's sort of in our way Keep moving, keep moving that's what I don't want to do. So there's a whole nother project involved in getting that in, so. Yeah, yeah. Right. Have cook. So here we are to the floor. Uh, we didn't sort of film putting all the floor in. It's just click and whatever. I've still got some more pieces to cut down there. Um, the pew's back sort of where it should be. We can see that the pew needs a sanding back and a slight colour change, which we sort of thought anyway. Yeah, we sort of thought anyway, didn't we? Yeah. Um, we've just put a, a just a frame in for the partition wall. Trying to figure, we really want the door in the middle. Um, here's the centre line here. We want the door in the middle if we can. But we have, in our wisdom, we bought a fairly large fridge that needs to sit here. And what we're sort of concerned about is, if you look at the slope of the, the wall, whether that fridge is going to come out too far uh, and, and encroach into our doorway. So that's what we're pondering. We sort of think now we need the, we need the fridge so we can put the fridge there. And that will tell us if if we can if we can get away with this if we can do a centre door so that's what we want uh, there's the socket for the fridge it's, and the um, tall vault <coughs> I say isotherm so made by Webasto there's a di slight dink there um, you've got the fridge at the top freezer Freeze at the top and I've got a big fridge and there's quite a large fridge so fill that full of beer and wine yeah and salad <laughs> salad yeah if you like <laughs> so yeah a nice a nice finish like a it's like a brush stainless steel finish yeah silver the, yeah it's like a, yeah it's brush, silver yeah but yeah but it's like a brush yeah, stainless, stainless finish is what yeah. I'm trying to say yeah. Yeah. so what we've got to try and do is get that back which hopefully then allows us to so what's that measurement in theory, there? If I can get this fridge back, I think that's a fairly big ask. But let's say 80 mil, which is a big ask actually. Then the door frame, I'm trying to do two things at once. To get back to the door frame, I probably need, I probably need that sort of, I need, I need about 80 mil 
to, there's the mark for the door. So we need to go back about 80 mil. Like I say, I'm not sure. I'm not sure that's possible, but all we can do is go back as far as we can. We'll take this board off. Then we can actually see how far, how far we can get in. Nice day today. It's lovely. Back again. Okay, so we've had a re-jig re of, of said kitchen. <laughs> we, we, we had to bring the fridge over to see where everything was going to go. And, you know, it's a fairly big fridge for now. A boat is that. It's my fault. It's your fault. She saw it and went, I want that one. I was like, it's a bit big. I want that one. Okay. <laughs> so it's, it's, it's no big deal. So we did want the door on the, on the, in the middle into the bathroom, but there's no way we can get that in. I can't recess the wall any further than what it already is. Yeah, we looked at that. We just took the board off. Just took the mind. board off. There's just no way to go. I, I could get 10, 15, 20 mil maybe, but it's not going to be enough to make any real difference. So... So we've rejigged. We've rejigged it. So if I just tilt you down a little bit, oh, and watch the light. That's going to be our cooker island. So uh, there'll be a hob in the top of it, oven below. So that'll just be a cooking island uh, with um, ang angled. Or might be some shelves in there for spices and stuff. Over here, obviously now because of the door, we've lost we've lost a cupboard here, but. We've gained some space here, so we'll get a, a 1200 unit, which will go right the way down the side of the fridge and allow us then to build uh, an over counter cupboard, like a full height cupboard then right up to the top. So all this will be, let's have a look. All this will be cupboard space inside and also on the top, there'll be also a, a cupboard on, on the top of the fridge as well for extra storage. So we, even though that one's quite hard to get to, you, you, there's always places in the kitchen where yeah. you just want to put stuff and you, you don't use very often. The, so we shoved in the corner. We shoved in the corner. <laughs> Things like juicers, we don't use that very often. Yeah. But, but put that in the corner and then that top corner, that top cupboard then will be for whatever. And there's that, that top cupboard there. There'll be a full height, unit there. full height unit there, 600 wide. Another unit that's good for the cleaning products and things under, under the, the sink. sink. The sink could be under the window. Then there'll be space then for the for the washing machine. Yada yada yada. Mm -hmm. Okay, so what that fridge has allowed us to do now is we can measure we can measure that kitchen out from the bulkhead that we've put in temporarily. We know that then know when the where the dinette is going to actually be. We fix it. So I can build that partition there, the back partition the back of the back of um, the back of the, pew. the back of the dinette, dinette. i keep calling it <laughs> pew as well the uh, back of the dinette we can build that we're gonna sat and put give that a light sand and darken that up a little bit keep the floor light obviously we just paid for it uh, but we're gonna darken that down the pew. The, uh, to more of a dark oak which is similar then to the the v tongue and groove that we've got on the side so we're yeah. gonna dark we're gonna need to sand that down darken that kitchen we're waiting for because one of Fran's customers, she's taking their kitchen out. There's nothing wrong with it. So we're we're you we're going to use that kitchen. Utilize it. Utilize that. So it'll be a used kitchen, which we did in our last boat, uh, and make make our kitchen out of tons and tons of units yeah. that and she's then, got. And then we just got a yeah. It's a massive kitchen. And it's we a massive kitchen, anything. so we can we can have the pick of all of that, which is which is nice. And then we just need a worktop then, don't we? The, yeah, it's just worktop then. See so what we decide on the worktop. We know where the door is for the bathroom. So we'll go through into the bathroom on the one side and now that'll be a walkway bathroom all the way through now, won't it? So we we'll walk in, the, kit, the toilet will be on the left and the sink, the shower on the far wall, and, and then, then we'll straight, we'll straight the through then into the bedroom where yeah. there'll be um, a wardrobe yeah. and all that sort of stuff. So yeah. again, like you can see, hopefully, we're trying to get kitchen, forwards something like him with that's yeah. what we're sort of working on don't look at that over there we'll always start on the next piece <laughs> yeah because we've got we've, we've, we've got all that we've got all the shower and toilet facilities here and we, we can we can do the toilet i mean we could work on the toilet but yeah. we, we've got all those the shower facilities and things so we're just trying to get this this something like him we we have made a couple of decisions as well have we 
Yeah, we did that the other day. We're going to put um, a, a, se a separate diesel yeah. tank for the stove at the, in the bow. We're going to get one that fits under that gunnel area right in the bow. Uh, a bigger tank as we can get away with. So we were looking at one the other day. 60, 60 litres, was 60 it? 60 litres, I think. 60 yeah. litres. Uh, so we, we're not filling it up every day and things. We see some that are quite small and you, you'll be filling them up every 24 hours. <coughs> Don't want that. So, yeah, we've made a decision on that. You've seen that we've made a t just a temporary, or well, sort of, plinth for the stove. So we're going to sort of get over to that at some point. Step. Uh, step we need to make. Uh, and, and obviously we're waiting for the window, wind, window in, infills, liners, they're called. So window liners trying, and the and, and the rest of the thermo wood. So if you imagine the the windows lined and the the ceiling finished and the floor, this off, area, this area sort of finished. I've just got some pieces to put in there. I've not done that one side. Mm. Then we sort of get in there. This space down here that you can see that hasn't got floor in, that's all for our heating pipes that will go in as well. So we start to think about those as well a little bit. Start to pipe, pipe those up. Uh, but yeah, there's, as always, you know, in our last last video, I put a thousand and one jobs. There is, literally and it, a thousand. There jobs. is literally a thousand <laughs> and one jobs, and every one impacts on another one, doesn't it? Mm. Every single one. So, take your time, think about it. You will make mistakes anyway. But this is why our fridge is here. Yeah, we've had to bring we, it on we've board. We've had to bring it on board so we can actually Plan physically picture. see it. And we couldn't fix the pew down the dinette until we know. Where we are on the kitchen, yeah, yeah. yeah. So, so that that bulk that bulkhead so is sort of framed to a point, so we can then measure that two forty, yeah, yeah two forty, uh, four units. Then we can make that, and we can get that get that something like get that uh, get that used. Um, turns out one of the customers I went to see this morning for a little electrical problem. She's now doing a lot of curtains and stuff. Oh, okay. So um, yeah, we'll be we'll be. Uh, We'll be giving her some because we need those to be covered as well, don't we? To some yeah. when when we decide what our colour schemes are and things, I think we're quite away from that. But it's all getting there. It's all getting there. So yeah, fridge on board. We're going to rewrap that up in bubble wrap. Yeah. Because uh, we don't really want uh, to. It's already got a knock. Isn't it? It's got a little knock on that door, hasn't it? It is an X display model, but it's probably we have put it in and out the van, in and out of storage, carried it into the boat ourselves today. Yeah, it's a little bit, but it's nothing, nothing, nothing major. major. Major, so. so so good yes right um i don't know what we're doing next do you nope let's clean that up <laughs> Thank you.